today we are going to talk about kingdoms of rivers this is the first lesson social science of fourth standard okay uh, this is the introduction part here uh, in the picture we can see uh, the in the ancient period people were settled and they were living in along the river banks okay on the and on these river banks kingdoms of chera chola pandya and pallavas emerged okay let's talk about cheras now here what we have done is we have just jotted down the very important points we have not uh, gone and uh, explained everything here so this is the important points what the child needs to know so the cheras ruled on the banks of river poigai and their capital was vanchi and they had their ports at tondi and musiri their flag was bow and arrow and the country was called as cheranadu and the greatest rulers were uh, imayavarban nedu cherulattu and his son senguttavan and the epic silapathikaram was written by senguttavan's brother ilango vadigal now uh, if you can see in the picture you can see the himalayas and uh, the chera king neducheralatan he climbed up to the himalayas and he hoisted the flag uh, with the symbol of bow and arrow and then uh, you have cheran singottavan he erected the statue of kanagai and the temple of kanagai was built from the stones brought from himalayas so let's move on to cholas now cholas they ruled on the bank of river kaveri and their capital was urayur and the port they had was kaveri pumpattinam the flag was of tiger and it was famous for rice and the greatest ruler was karikala cholan and karikalan built the dam kalanai across the river kaveri and this dam is still stands erected even after 2000 years of the construction let's talk about pandyas they ruled on the banks of river vaikai and the capital was madurai the port was korkai the flag was fish and they were famous for pearls now when we speak about silapathikaram uh, during the rule of pandya uh, neduchilian he prosecuted kovalan for theft and he gave him death sentence so kovalan's wife kanagai she advocated she fought and proved that her husband was innocent okay the last was pallavas they ruled on the banks of river pallar and the capital was kanchipuram the port was mahabalipuram and their flag was nandi and the greatest achievement of pallavas was aware the cave temples and uh, monolithic rathas okay here are the seven feudal lords pehan ori kari pari achiyaman ai nalli and these kings were popularly called as kadai elu valalkal okay here are some crops cultivated uh, you can choose any three and uh, make your child learn okay here are some festivals which were celebrated uh, by sangam age people mainly kartikai and harvest festival 
okay here we have the bookmark exercises so we have choose the correct answer we have given two options so first one is cheras cholas and pandyas were called move and wrangle the second one is the efficient king among the cheras was cher cheran senguttavan third port of cholas was kaveri pumpattinam the flag of Pal uh, pandyas was fish the feudal lord who gave his chariot to mullai was pari okay next we have match the following so we have already given you the answer cheras poigai cholas kaveri pandyas vaigai pallavas palar okay answer in short the first question is name one of the greatest kings among the cheras answer is cheran senguttavan number 2 name the seven feudal lords pehan pari kari ai ajyaman nalli ori number 3 tell about the achievements of karikalan he built kalanai dam across the river kaveri number 4 which was the capital of pallavas answer is kanchipuram 